just closing your eyes, coming in contact with the body. And bringing that attitude of kindness and loving care to your own body. Maybe passing your awareness from the head just gently down the face. Feeling the sensations, relaxing into them, and spreading awareness and kindness gradually down through the whole body, noticing how kindness relaxes the body and mind. the ideal relationship that the Buddha talks about in the suttas is one where the monks regard each other with kindly eyes, with gratitude and appreciation. See if you can regard your own body, your own experience with kindly eyes. Notice how your body relaxes in the presence of kindness. <coughs> Once the body's relaxed, we're going to start the metta meditation by bringing to mind a person or even an inanimate object like a tree or a flower, anybody or anything that brings a smile to your heart. I find Metta and gratitude usually go together. So for me it's helpful to choose somebody who's like a benefactor, somebody who's shown me great kindness and whom I have a sense of gratitude towards. It could be a baby, it could be a, a pet. Whatever you find lifts the heart easily. And then just imagine that person in front of you. Imagine them smiling back at you. And from your heart, wish them well. You may use phrases such as may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be at peace. Contact the heart's deepest intention for that loved person. And 
and gently send them the phrases of loving kindness. Noticing the feeling that those words evoke, feeling of metta in the heart, and allowing that to flow into the other person. Imagine that person's smile growing bigger as they bask in the glow of your loving kindness. they be well, may they be happy, may they be safe, may they be at peace. Notice any sensation that arises in response within your own heart. Now gently let go of this person, allow them to fade and allow the matter to spread out of your body and into this room. Sensing all the people sitting here with us. Sensing their wish to be happy and to be free from suffering. May all the friends in this room be happy. May they be peaceful. Imagine the metta spreading and touching everybody, filling their hearts, relaxing them, making them feel valued and appreciated, regarded with kindly eyes.
you like, you can remain with this perception. Otherwise, if the metta is strong, imagine it spreading beyond this little vihara, spreading around the whole city of Leicester. And as far beyond as you can imagine, as far as feels comfortable for you. Wishing all beings be happy and well. Use your imagination, be creative. Keep in contact with the source of the metta, the emotion of metta from the heart. Noticing the effect of the words on the physical sensations and experience of metta. Very gently bring that metta, draw that metta back in, back into the room, to all the people sitting here. And into your own body. And just holding the perception of your own body and mind in the soft embrace of metta. Perhaps visualizing yourself sitting here if you're more visual, feeling feeling your emotional body or your, or the sensations in the body, felt presence. And send yourself the gift of loving kindness. Connecting with your deepest wish for yourself, for your own well-being.
needing to deserve it. Not measuring. Just give yourself unconditional loving kindness. any part of yourself is left out. Maybe the small child is through a tantrum. The teenager who created trouble for the parents. All those parts of yourself. Maybe you've rejected or dismissed. Allow them all to come in now and be held in this embrace of loving kindness. As though the wise, strong you is stretching out her arms or his arms and bringing in all those sad little parts of yourself that are just so desperate for your love. Imagine all those parts being embraced, coming into your heart. And basking in the glow of loving kindness. Again and again, sending that intention towards yourself. Whether you can feel the matter or not, the heart is responding. Gradually it's sinking in. we incline to becomes a habit of the mind. So keep your eyes closed and I'll give a final blessing. Sabe sata, sabe pana, sabe buta, sabe pugala, sabe ata bawa paria pana. Saba itio, sabe purisa, sabe aria, sabe anaria, sabe dewa, sabe 
Time is almost over together this time. But um, before we end, I have a lovely quote to read, which I read recently. Um, and I think it's quite relevant to the metta practice. So it's also a reassurance in case anybody feels that they're just going through the motions and the words aren't having a lot of effect. Mm -hmm. This will show you that actually they do. It's from the Jewish tradition. A disciple asks the rabbi, why does the Torah tell us to place these words upon your hearts? Why does it not tell us to place these holy words in our hearts? The rabbi answers, it's because as we are, our hearts are closed and we cannot place the holy words in our hearts. So we place them on top of our hearts and there they stay until one day the heart breaks and the words fall in. It's not lovely. So metta doesn't break the heart, but it does soften and melt it. And you may find that imperceivably the words slip in, and over time they do transform the way we think, the way we relate to life and to our experience, the way we relate to ourselves. Whatever we ponder on becomes our inclination, so metta becomes our character. And we find that the Brahma Viharas, the divine abodes, do become our real dwelling place. So may they all become your dwelling place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>